Back to the big story on WJR. Once again, Marie Osborne. Today, millions of Muslims around the world and thousands here in the metro Detroit area begin the holy month of Ramadan. Imam Muhammad Ali Elahi of the Islamic House of Wisdom in Dearborn Heights joining us tonight. Imam, thank you so much for joining us here on The Big Story tonight. Pleasure. Tell us, give us a very brief definition of what is Ramadan. Well, the Prophet Muhammad him said that Ramadan is about two words. Uh, it's about mercy, it's about forgiveness, and freedom from uh, hellfire. And he said that the happiest uh, moments for a faithful person who fasts during this month is the uh, one the time that he or she breaks his fast, her fast, and the second moment, the time that this person will meet with the Lord. Uh, this is a journey that takes about a month, with certain instructions, and all about discipline, it's about and not only physical fasting, but also mind and heart and body and soul. Um, Imam, why specifically do Muslims fast? Why is it so important for them to fast from uh, sunup to sundown? Well, this is uh, an important part of our Islamic faith, and it is in the Quran, mentioned the Quran, and we do this as an act of obedience. It's not really with the intention of losing fat and losing weight, uh, but the intention is to purify our soul and getting closer to God, and uh, that is the final destination of this spiritual journey, the pleasure of, of, of the Creator. So the, there is a big wisdom behind this fasting during the holy month of, of Ramadan to, to remember, to reflect, to reconnect, to reconcile, to build bridge, not only with, with the Lord, but also with the family, with the community, with humanity, uh, and uh, showing kindness, showing care, uh, sense of responsibility, bringing uh, brotherhood and love and, and, and passion, uh, especially for the poor, for the suffering, uh, for those victims of, of hunger, and uh, war, violence, uh, praying to God uh, for everybody, praying for peace, praying for justice, uh, praying for a better life for everybody. Uh, this is really the wisdom of, uh, of Ramadan, and is starting this uh, Thursday, the 18th of June, and ends on uh, on uh, July 17th. And it is uh, the, the beginning of fast is almost uh, four thirty in the morning, and ends around nine thirty in the afternoon. Uh, as any other journey, when we have a flight, uh, for example, there are certain instructions that uh, they said, uh, fasten your seatbelt and don't disturb. It is uh, the same thing that, you know, you don't dis disturb anybody with your tongue, with, you know, with, with your mood. It is a very exciting situation for the community. Already people are doing shopping and getting ready for family breakfast. Some people come to the mosque, some people go to the in our restaurants or uh, public places or in their houses. Imam, tell us, I, I, was, I was amused when I read this in an article that I was reading about Ramadan, that in the Middle East and in some areas of South Asia, critics have said that the holy month has increasingly become commercialized. And of course, you know that Christians, a lot of them lament that the Christian holy day of Christmas has also become commercialized. Can you speak to that at all? I mean, you talked about the beautiful moments with the family and everything, which are all true. But are, do you have a sense that maybe it's getting commercialized as well? Yeah, I agree. I agree. You know, first of all, it's fasting. It depends every individual, every family. It is really a very a, a pure season and, and moment for everybody. But, yeah, obviously some people take advantage of uh, this season, like uh, there are people who are taking advantage of any situation to uh, make it like a, a business. And uh, part of it is okay. I mean, you know, obviously people uh, go for certain shopping and, uh, you know, certain food during the whole month of Ramadan. Uh, but the point is that, uh, you know, there are some movies, especially in the Middle East, there is 
kind of distraction from the the spirit of holy month of Ramadan that supposed to be a month of a uh, prayer and patience and and peace and purity and, and love and uh, connection with the Creator, with community. Well, Imam, what a pleasure to talk with you tonight. We hope you have a very blessed, holy month of Ramadan. Thank you very much, and happy Ramadan to all Muslim communities and, and all people of faith who have different past.